Okay, so here we are, Dane and Evan, 20 to 25 knots with medium chop, and we're working on our jibing downwind in the gorge. You know, some of the highlights we're thinking about into the jibe is really pushing hard in the shoulder straps and keeping the sails fully powered up for maximum speed. It's the only way to really get through the jibe um, as best you can is to be going as fast as possible. So we're always thinking about before we even pick the spot, staying super fast. Secondly, you know, then we're looking at the water in front of us and where best, you know, we're going to be most easily jibing. That's kind of a combination of less chop, um, wind conditions at that point. We don't want to be jibing in a bunch of breeze or a building breeze, for instance. And after we've um, gone through all that, you know, we're just looking at executing our jibe. So some of the highlights of this jibe and some of the things we've been working on in the gorge have been... Um, not only that pushing hard and finding the perfect spot, but also the rate of turn of the jibe and the uh, consistency of the turn such that the boat stays extremely flat as the bodies move through the boat together and continuously. So you see here we're prepping, prepping to get ready for our jibe. Uh, we've found the spot just after a, a tough bit of chop, which you know maybe isn't ideal, but we still picked the spot. And as we're going into the jive, we're not letting up on our shoulders until we go for our handles. Um, some of the important things we're thinking about right now is obviously moving into the boat and then out onto the new side. As the skipper, I'm definitely thinking about steering as smoothly as I can as I gather myself and get into the boat. Um, Dane, as the crew, is looking at the kite sheets and you know maintaining his balance so that he can give the kite a good check and make sure it depowers through the jive. Um, you know, that's important because if you were to check too early, the kite may not depower and too late, um, really might not do much for the kite, uh, to depower in the middle of the jive in order to get it switched and, um, have that easy body movement to the new side. As we're moving through, um, consistent rate of churn also makes sure to, that the boom comes over. A lot of times in breezier jibes, the boom has a tendency to want to stay to leeward if you don't steer enough. Um, so steering and moving the bodies will get that boom to flop over as you're still staying fast. Um, and then the final piece of the puzzle we've been working on here in the gorge with Charlie is just keeping the boat as flat as possible, keeping the wings out of the water. It's easy to fall over as a skipper, um, hit a bad piece of chop and kind of be erratic on the steering. Uh, and that'll definitely put the wings in the water. The boat's going to slow down a lot and the sails are going to load up a lot. So you're going to be totally overpowered, wanting to capsize and going slower than all your competitors. So definitely the smoothness of the jibe. Uh, the final piece definitely as a skipper here, I'm looking, can I bail clip in time to fly out onto the wire and then be available to maybe hold the kite sheet um, or just plainly steer and be balanced? Or do I need to fly out there and just grab the handle? I think here we do a good job of getting through the jibe, but I decided to just grab the handle, I think, because the trapeze wire was flying around and I couldn't focus on the bail. Um, so I think just keeping that body moving, getting out there, especially before the crew is kind of on top of you, uh, can be really important. And then just steering that last bit through the jibe so that the sails power up nicely. Um, that's mostly it. But again, this exit is, you know, super critical to be actively steering and focused on the bow just to keep the boat perfectly flat as it accelerates up again. So there you have it. That's the, uh, that's the jibe and breeze.